Yo, what's up everybody? Let me stretch here. Oh, finally, I'm doing this for the first time. Oh. Uh, yeah, this table, this table it's kind of short, small. Uh, guys, uh, I can read the comments from uh, another phone, but I won't pay that much attention to comments. Uh, so talk to each other. Uh, let me know if the sound quality is all right, if the video quality is all right. From this phone, everything seems seems well. Uh, so yeah, uh, as as I as I've said in uh, in my description, and some people know from uh, from uh, Discord, I had some issues with the unboxing video. So I basically recorded it. I opened the boxes and what you see here and <clears throat> when i record my videos i uh, um oh, let me fix this i record the videos with one phone uh this one here yeah i i don't have money for a camera and uh, i recorded the the sound the voice separately on another phone so after I finished recording, my voice recording was like 31 minutes long and the video recording was like 8 uh, eight minutes long because I ran out of uh, internal storage. So yeah, I've decided to make this as a live stream. If everything goes well, I don't have any technical issues with sound, video quality and so on, I'll keep doing unboxing as live streams because also I have a huge, I mean, something like this big package that just arrived from Poland so yeah um, the, the rare M87 uh, I think you are talking about the rare M85F the one with uh, VPU yeah I have it it's the one right there and that's the VPU uh, anyway uh, let's start with the so-called unboxing uh, I broke the surprise at least for me because i know what i'm going to present you but just imagine it's the first time i open everything i guess so yeah let's start uh, with one of my favorite thing uh, alexei the also for those who don't know i've uh, done a pretty big trade some time ago with a russian guy i sent him I, i've sent him plenty of uh, romanian gas mask basically uh, different types m74s mc uh, 50 uh, 56 and so on and he sent me a bunch of uh, russian gas mask and soviet gas mask so i highly recommend you to watch my previous unboxing and um, now i i received the second package from him uh, he sent in two packages because sending in only one would uh, would uh, have been too expensive uh, to to be sent so yeah i will start with the least interesting part uh, of the unboxing and oh and another thing i also have here a package that i received like yesterday also from the republic of moldova which also contains soviet gas masks uh and another thing that i want to apologize in advance is that you will probably hear my dog barking or something like that because i keep my window open uh, the the room smells like rubber and other chemical substances from the contamination kit so i have to ventilate the room constantly so sorry for dog barking okay the least interesting part uh, will be in this bag here which as you can probably see it's the pmk3 bag uh, and here i have plenty of accessories like uh, face forms for the pmk series unfortunately some of them broke probably on the way but they are easily fixable uh and they will be very very helpful in the near future because i'm thinking to stop using plastic heads so i have one of these i received one of these and another one this seems in better condition uh, only broke a little bit here yeah and the guy asked me if i want some actually i leave this for the for the for the end of this part uh, another form that I received uh, from him that is used for the filter. Uh, you put this between the filter and the uh, how is it called uh, between the filter and the waterproof uh, sock to keep a good shape of the sock there and uh, 
I think it also uh, keeps the filter from blocking with the soap or something like that when you inhale. So that's a nice addition. I didn't have that. Uh, more accessories, uh, a bottle cap for the uh, Russian drinking uh, system from the TMT1, TMT2, TMT3 and that would attach to, to the Russian canteens. I already have another of these. They seem to break quite easily. Uh, another thing that I want to mention is that he sent me a full PMK gas mask with some accessories and so on, but he sent me the gas mask dismantled because the Russians low are quite weird and uh, if you would send me the, the gas mask uh, fully assembled uh, that would not have been possible. So here we'll find a lot of parts for the PMK PMK3 that I will assemble maybe these days or something like that. Uh, one of the parts here it's the 40 millimeter filter adapter for the PMK series starting with the PMK2 and PMK3 because maybe some of you know that the these two face pieces take um, bayonet style filters <clears throat> and you in and, <clears throat> and if you want to use a normal filter you need this adapter which you will uh, mm, you will uh, screw your filter here and uh, will literally shove this part into the right or left cheek so this is one pmk3 piece uh, what we are going to find here oh uh, this one it's a blanking plug that you put in the other cheek because obviously probably you, are, you won't use two filters in the same time so you need one of the holes to be closed and this is the cap that is used for it i have another one for my pmk2 i don't think you can see it from this angle uh, this one uh, it's the deflector that would usually come on the uh, bayonet style filter used for the PMK series 2 and 3 but can be also attached for this and would go on the inside of the gas mask uh, another filter form so we've got two of them now the, the filter sock itself the waterproof filter sock Nothing very amazing. I think, yeah, I, I received uh, one of these with the PMK1 from the last uh, shipment from Alexei. Uh, another filter deflector right here. Some rubber straps. I'm not really sure what these are for, but I'll figure it out. They seem extremely familiar, but I cannot remember from where. <laughs> Uh, this is a deflector uh, from the exhale valve that would uh, screw on the outside of the gas mask. Is the exactly is is the exact is the exact same one used for the previous uh, PMT uh, gas mask from the pre previous PMT gas mask. Uh, I think this. Oh no no no! I also have. I don't know why did he send me, but I highly appreciate it. Uh, a voice diaphragm for uh, the PMT series, including the GP7. Mm. Another reflector, so I have three of them at this point. Salut Florin Timiraj. Uh, I don't know what this is. It looks like a metal cap, but I really don't know what this is for. Last time I had to ask him what some things are used for. Okay, I keep reading some of the comments from time to time. This is the drinking tube for the PMK3. Some of you may be already know that uh, PMK3 compared with the previous uh, uh, previous uh, PMK1 and 2 doesn't come with the straw integrated. Uh, it's a separate part of the gas mask. And what I want to say about this one is that the straw is made of much better quality uh, rubber. Uh, it's more flexible and it feels a bit thicker. And it doesn't feel like it's going to tear apart in your hands. Uh, for the, for example, I have a GP7 uh, V that has a drinking cube and it's breaking away constantly. So this one is much, much better. Um, 
this and with me. I also he sent me some uh, some filter plugs. I have plenty of those. I even used some of them to repair a hole in my car, in my previous car. They are very good. Uh, as I said, my PMK3 is dismantled, so here are the eye rings for it. I cannot wait to to assemble this gas mask, even though I don't really like it. I find it huge. It looks humongous. Um, another uh, rubber ring that. As I said, I cannot remember what it is for. And now let's start the countdown. This was very funny. So Alex asked me, hey, Robert, do you want some uh, some outserts for your Soviet gas mask? And I was like, yeah, why, why, why not? And I was expecting him to send me like some PMK3 and PMK2 outserts. But no, check this out. So we've got here like uh, one, a pair for PMK1, okay? Um, or let me make them in pairs. A pair for P. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Uh, a pair for PMK3. Okay. PMK1 or PMK2, the previous ones that I've showed you. Okay. Wait a second. Another pair for PMK3. So basically, the, the entire bag at this point is full with outsets for Soviet gas masks and so on. Um, okay, wait a second, let me make another pair. Nope. So much glass in here. A third pair for the PMK3 gas mask. I think this is going to fall. I'm reading the comments from time to time. I've just... A pair for the... No, this one is for the GP7 and this one is for SHM66MU. But the biggest difference, I mean the easiest way you can make difference between these two, is that this one has crimped rings and this one doesn't have this retarded system. I implemented with the PMK series that I really hate, could dismantle and assemble back. Now we have a pair for the GP7. Well, outside for GP7. Another pair for GP7. Now we have a pair for the black SH SHM66MU. Another one for SHM66MU, but black, and this one for white one. Okay. Now I have a second pair. This one is not in very good condition, as you can see. Maybe as you can see it. I don't know how is the quality of the video. It's a bit rusty and the glass uh, cracked, but that's not such a big deal. Uh, now we have a pair for the white SHM66MU. Another one. Uh, I like matching colors. Uh, now I have a second pair for the PMK2. First pair for PMK1, the black version, with black metal. Hmm. Oh. oh. And now I have a second pair for a white SHM66 MU. This was everything, so I have plenty of outsets. Like he, when I took the bag outside of the of the box, full with uh, this. This was the bag that he sent the outsets in. They weighed around like a kilogram, I think, of outsets. They found a good place to stay here, and some filter plugs, and some. Uh, I don't know if I can call them dog tags. This would no. Uh, this would be uh, sued on the on the uh, gas mask uh, uh, carrying bag with your name and probably some personal details. So yeah, uh, I do believe that this bag is uh, waterproof by how it feels. I would like to try that. 
Only thing that I don't really like about it is that the metal parts are extremely rusty. Like, I don't know if you can see this clearly, but this one, it's extremely rusty. It's starting to uh, break. And this one, it's in quite better condition. This uh, triangular metal ring here, it's again very rusty. And there are uh, uh, rust... Um, uh how, how call it? Uh, th there is rust everywhere on the material but it's not that of a big deal uh, i'm not i mean i like accessories for gas mask but bags and filters take a lot of space so yeah uh, let me check something out oh nice 15 people watching that's amazing considering that i haven't live streamed uh very recent so yeah, let's go to the big box, and one of my favorite things here is the flag. Uh, I told him that I I like flags. I don't collect them, but I like them. And he sent me this magnificent Soviet flag. Somebody told me it's post-1958 with, fifth, I don't remember the number of states or something like that, regions that were part of the Soviet Union, but looks in very good condition overall. So yeah, maybe I'll have some outsets for selling or trading sooner or later. I hope I don't break any of them. Let me put this down. Actually, I'll put the outsets uh, somewhere else because they take a lot of space. So yeah, and I don't want to break any of them. Oh. Especially the the SHM uh, 66MU outsets are. Uh, are very nice are a very nice addition and i think this will work on older gas masks uh, i got to try that okay uh, so let's go with the big box here's where the, the fun begins uh here i have the lenses for the pmk3 gas mask Actually, I haven't. This is the only part that uh, I haven't opened yet, so let's cut it out. Um, this is a quite useful multi tool I use it for dismantling gas mask. And what amazes me, what amazes, what amazes me about this multi tool is that this knife it's actually very sharp. I'm trying to be gentle because I don't want to break the lenses. I hope you guys like this so far. There, there is too much light as I can see on the video. Should I do something about the light? Let me know. Okay, okay. And even these uh, lenses break, I think I can replace the, the glass uh, with the glass from the outsets. Yeah, they, they, they look good. I like the, the paper. Look at this. This is humongous. I mean, compare, compare this with the PMK1 or 2. It's huge. I really don't like how PMK3 look, but I got to have it for, for collecting purposes and to have the complete saga of PMK gas masks, not including like uh, prototypes and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. So we are going to gas mask themselves. Here we have the PMK3 face piece. It looks amazing. I mean, the rubber is in very good shape. It doesn't have any cracks. It doesn't have any loose parts. Uh, it's a size 2 gas mask. It was made in Tambov 2006. Uh, the straps are the same straps as uh, those used on GP7, PMK1, PMK2, the, you know, the so-called M80, M, M180 face pieces. They are horrible to adjust. Horrible. I mean, if you have some silicone oil, silicone spray that I put here for my gas masks, okay, you you get the the dub, you get the job done. But without some silicone spray, you can easily break these these straps here. I have to wash it. Uh, 
it has a lot of uh, surplus rubber and I have to wash it and after that soak it in talcum powder for a few days to to dry out a bit the, the rubber and after that to rub it with some silicone uh, and here it's the drinking port as I said it's quite different let me try to um, Uh, it says to Andre, I think, yes, this goes in here, I believe, but doesn't seem to seal or something like, it seems very loose in here, but still an interesting catch. And the inside straw, it's, it's very long this time, I cannot really show you this because the straps are very tightened and... Uh, that would imply to use silicone right now and I, I don't really want to. I don't think you can actually see the date stamp 2006 form, uh, form or lot 5. Yeah, if you, no, you, you cannot really see that. So yeah, sorry. Okay, next thing we have a uh, uh, torn apart, let's say, PPM 88, uh, made by Breeze, and it's actually called Breeze 4301, but in commas, there is also PPM 88, uh, it uh, doesn't have uh, <clears throat> the head hairness, first of all, uh, this plastic ring is broke, I mean, this, this wasn't part of a trade, I didn't get scammed or something like that, he just offered to send me this for free, maybe, I mean, he, he thought maybe I can do something with it, maybe I can find a purpose for it or re restore it somehow, but uh, I do not have spare parts like these plastic rings that broke, I do not have, I mean, the, the glass, uh, it's plastic by the way, it's the, the least problem that I have. So I don't know what I'll do with this gas mask. Is is missing the Oreo nasal cup and and so on. It's quite interesting, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And this one seems to be made either in 2009. Uh, it, it, it it cannot be in 2006. It's very clear on the stamp. It's 2009. That's all. That's all I can see. That's all I can see about these gas masks. Um. Next one, this one is not from Alexei, this one is from my friend Mihai from the Republic of Moldova. I'm not going to discuss on the topic of Bessarabia or historical part of it, but he was a very nice guy and he wanted to trade with me as well. I gave him some Romanian gas mask, he gave me some Soviet gas mask. I, funny enough, I didn't have the GP7, I had only the GP7 uh, V, yeah, V with uh, drinking tube drinking tube and i was surprised that he also sent it with the uh, outserts uh, that that was a very nice surprise uh it is in very good shape overall it is size 2 as well uh, as the pmk3 uh everything seems all right the straps are all right, all right are uh, made that they have the same shitty system um and this one was made as well in tambo but in 1988 for its, age, for its age looks very well, it also have the inside the face form, I'll have to push this away to expose everything here. Uh, another thing that I received from Mihai uh, is that uh, recently I started looking for children gas mask, especially the Soviet children gas mask. I have only two of them and now I've got those that are extremely small, like size one. Look at this. Just look at this, how tiny it is. You cannot imagine my shock. I mean, I've seen them on internet, in pictures and so on, but I've never imagined that they are so small. This one, besides the sunburn, uh, the, the guy, Mihai, uh, washed them uh, before sending them here. It's in very good shape, surprisingly. Uh, it doesn't have any cracks. The rubber seems very good. And the strap system is awful. I don't know what's wrong with Soviets and awful uh, strap systems. It's it's the same or at, at least it looks uh, the same as the one used on the GP4 series. It's horrible to adjust and besides that it's horrible to try to put it on. But as I said, the gas mask looks, looks really nice. It has a hose which is uh, 
Uh, it's not the same size as the normal hoses used by the Soviet gas mask. It's a bit uh, thinner. And yeah, this one looks good as well. <clears throat> Let's put this here. Let me take the box away and I'll just pick the stuff up. Compare it with the civilian, the adult civilian gas mask. It's humongous compared to this little tiny one. I think these were used for children from kindergartens. Uh, I mean, the smallest children possible. Uh, I don't know how to express it. I mean, not babies, but not close to teenagers or something like that. Yeah, I agree with you, Andre, but uh, when you try to put it, uh, put it on your head, it's horrible. Uh, here I have the exact same gas mask, but I had an obsession to get uh, the one with... Uh, oh, and I didn't mention this one. It's made in... Uh, it's size 1, obviously. It's made in 1976. Uh, Orenburg. I never knew how to pronounce that city. I always forget the right pronunciation. Uh, and this one is basically the same thing, but it has a very different head harness. That one was made in the 70s. This one was made in the 80s, early 80s, in the same city in 1983. Uh, but the huge difference is the head harness, which is very similar to the GP7 one, but as you can see, this is made of gray white rubber. Um, it also has these two straps. I don't know what they are for. Probably you do something like that and you make uh, one next strap. Yeah, and uh, one of the main differences is that it has a plastic cap, a black plastic, a plastic cap this time. And uh, they started using metal rings for the hose here. And uh, that one didn't have metal rings, that one had the, only the, the, how is it called, canvas-like uh, the, the duct tape. And the only thing that I don't like about this gas mask is the fact that here, where the hose enters the gas mask itself, has, uh, has a lot of tears, a lot of cracks. I don't know if you can see this, but I hate this thing, but I don't know, it happens. You cannot pick everything. So, yeah, now I have to march on my gas mask. I have to put the gas mask, not now, but in my collection somehow, that the hose won't put any pressure in this area uh keeping on the children topic so yeah the only the, the gas masks that i received from uh, mihai were these three the gp7 and the pdf and gas masks and i also received from him uh two soviet rubbles and they are fascinating how small they are i mean look at this this is a banknote it's extremely tiny and I don't know if you can see this very well, but it is very colorful. This is one rubble and here we have three rubbles. It's interesting because it has the Kremlin on one of the sides and he told me to look in the light or something like that. But I do not see anything special. Uh, oh, yeah, you can see some hidden stars wow lol that's very interesting kind of bonded videos and welcome so yeah i don't really collect money but i i'm going to keep those it was a very nice gesture of him uh this one is from alexei back at him uh a much more modern let's say children gas mask this one not that modern it's only three years older than the one that i've just showed you this one is from 1986 and this one is like i like to call it like that the children gas mask that was introduced with the pmk and gp7 series it's made of thicker black rubber it has the same stupid peripheral seal that is huge oh now i discovered some more cracks in it uh and this one overall looks good but has the exact same issue as this one where the hose goes in inside of the mask maybe because i don't know i don't really don't know it has a lot of cracks here and i don't really like this thing i don't know if you can see but there's plenty of cracks i don't think it's going to tear apart very soon but i'll have to take special care with this one and how to store it 
and also when he sent last time the package he sent a piece that i had to ask him what what with this piece where does it go and he was like oh uh, i sent it out of uh, mistake i should have uh, sent it with the second package and it's the exhale valve cover that i've got here for the pdf pdf 2 i think it's called and it just screws there it has uh, two rubber valves nothing very fancy but it's looking kind of good this one is size 2 i don't think this one would fit me i won't even try uh yeah this one has a lot of cracks i mean the rubber seems to be very very dry and the lenses are extremely dirty and they have a very weird color so yeah i'm quite pleased with it and has i think a longer hose than those ones i'll let this here Yeah, yeah, Andre said it better than me. That's a stress point. Um, now taking a little break from gas mask, the GP7K filter. He cannot really send me like military filters, but I'll use this one for the PMK3 and I'll just cover it with the uh, hydrophobic, uh, it was called hydrophobic uh, sock. What is that form? right here okay so as far as i know you put this like this but first of all you put it inside the hydrophobic sock okay we have it inside now let's also add the filter oh God damn it. I hate doing this. The, the, the sock seems to be made of very good material. And the, the strap here is extremely elastic. Um, come on. I don't want to make a fool out of me. If I'll drop this, this filter, I'm going to be very mad. I, I have a very retarded thing that I always drop my filters and somehow I I bend them. I don't know how. Oh, it's almost there. Done. Here I have it. And let's let's actually insert it in the gas mask. But I'll take another uh, deflector because this one is a little bit cracked. This one is in better shape. So okay. You know, just screw it in here. No, I think it would be a better idea to, to put this part first. It's not that easy, not that hard. Oh, and an interesting detail about the PMK3, it has some kind of Oreo nasal cap. For me, it looks more like the the deflector from the M6, from the German Dragger M62. Oh, okay, this was easier than I expected. I feel like a surgeon or something like that. Oh, okay. Almost there, almost there. I think it's done. Yeah, it's done. Yep, something like, some, something like this would look like but with lenses and outsets 
Oh, and also, let's attach this. Much better, much better. Let me put this back. And the, the, the rubber on the on the PMK3 is extremely flexible. Okay, he also sent me some uh, accessories for the SHM41 or 41M. I do not remember exactly what I talked to him. Uh, a hose, a Soviet hose, nothing very special. He said he said that uh, he sent me these items so I can have uh, almost complete air, air um, complete kit, military kit with SHM41M. I, I very often forget the designations and here I have the filter EO, EO12 from 1953. So yeah. This one here, the hose goes here, obviously. Uh, the last two gas masks that he also gave me for free uh, are not in a very good condition. Uh, and I do not know that much about them. They are called MLW. They are panoramic gas masks. They look like this. They are very similar. The only difference between these two is the valve cap but besides that everything is similar they seem to have an oreo nasal cup uh taking 40 millimeter filters obviously they have a, a star uh, a star um, uh how do i call it a star stamp right here and i do not know much stuff about this gas mask i i i've asked people here and there and they told me that they're from East Germany or West, I cannot uh, remember right now. And I and I think I've seen them in one of my books that have very much that have a lot of information about gas masks. It was written in 1982 and with a lot of pictures. I cannot wait to, to read it. Uh, this one has a uh, five point head harness, but the head harness is kind of fucked. Uh, again, the MLW stamp here one of the straps is missing and obviously maybe you realize that the the visor is broken but what is interesting to this one compared to the ppm 88 is that this one is made of hard glass it's very thick and that's it i have to see how this looks with the filter i know it's not a real fit i mean if it's from eastern germany i believe they used ghost go ghost ghost Threads. This is going to look funny. Yeah, GP5 filter. So yeah, something like this. Uh, Andre, uh, Polish 12 kilograms. It's actually 17 kilograms, and it's right behind the camera. I'll show it at the, at the end of the the video, probably the live stream. And I think I'll unbox it uh, this weekend, at least, I mean, 100% at least on Sunday. I cannot wait to open it because it's huge and he sent a lot of cool stuff and a lot of extra stuff that I wasn't expecting. And here's the second M MLW. It's in the exact same, uh, I don't know how to call it, in the exact same state, shape. Uh, this one has the Excel valve uh, quite different and it ha has this little rubber part but it's bended or melt or something like that <coughs> uh sn edits the s the uh, um the soviet uh, shms is not rare uh, I mean, it's not like extremely common, like the GP5, but it's not that rare, like, I don't know what other, like, like M40s, the American M40s in Europe. I mean, you can easily find SMHS on eBay, Etsy, and so now it depends a lot of where you live, but they are quite common. I can, I mean, Andre, I, I went to a flea market with Andre and found an SHMS for like $10, not $10, for like $2. Uh, uh, that that was extreme luck, but I'm pretty sure you are going to find uh, a SHMS uh, quite easy. So yeah, that that fell away. Uh, this one has the the head harness uh, entirely, but doesn't seem in very good shape. I mean, I'm pretty sure if I pull this harder, 
it will break. They have uh, it, it has fast release straps. Um, adjusting again MLW um, stamps, uh, and I think there's a sizing here, number two, and the other one was number three. Uh, overall, looks like, like a great like a great mask. The, the the rubber it's in very good condition uh the only thing that i have to prepare for this gas mask it's the visor and for this one the head headness as well i don't know where i'll find something like this but i'll do my best at least for displaying them that would be quite easy so yeah um Nah, what the fuck, $250 for a, a SHMS? No way. I mean, I, I won't tell you the price to pay it, but $250 is extremely overrated. I mean, you can easily buy modern era, like M50 and so on, gas mask with that money. That's a huge scam. That's a huge scam. With $250, you can buy like plenty of Soviet gas masks. Don't do that. Yeah, uh, let, let's put another filter on this one too, for the display. This is what I received so far, it was a great trade. Alexei was also pleased by what I've sent him and I, I really enjoyed hearing that. Now I have to... Oh, oh, I, I almost forget, forgot. Uh, Here's the bag that sent me with, with the filter and the hose. I think I have one of these already. Uh, let me put some of the stuff here. This is the bag that I received from Mihai with the GP7. Quite spacious. And he put the rubbles here on the side pocket. <coughs> and the last bag that I have here, it's the one that came with one of the children gas masks. What was funny about it is that uh, the bottom is pink and it doesn't seem it doesn't seem to be the one that should come with the bag itself. But that's a nice addition. Maybe I don't know. It's either Mihai that repaired it or some random babushka or something like that. It's nice that yeah I can show it to you, but I don't think you are going to see it. It has a very interesting stamp here with a huge star. I've never seen it before, but it's interesting. So yeah, I think this was everything so far. Oh, and also, um, uh, as far as I've talked with Alexei, he's kind of an artist or something like that. Like he studied art and he's painting. And he has some kind of nature when he sends packages or when he takes pictures of his gas mask. He likes foxes. And he sent me some very interesting fox drawings. I mean, I like foxes, I cannot call them my favorite animals, but these drawings look very interesting. This is like a fox that's sleeping. So yeah, this was a very nice touch to the to the package. I highly, I mean, I really like this, this type of surprises, like how Alexei sent me the, the drawings, how uh, Mikhail sent me the, the money. So that's why I always recommend trading with people, with other serious collectors, because you will always be surprised. So, and you will always have a good deal. Very rarely serious, uh, serious, <laughs> serious collectors will scam you. Let me... Uh. Yeah. What the fuck, RGP5 official YouTube. <laughs> Holy shit. That's cursed, my dude. Uh, so yeah, I, I have a huge issue right now because I do not have space for for what I've got recently. I mean, I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gas mask. Okay, let's see the, the the broken ones. Maybe I'm not going to display them. I don't know what I'll do with them. But still, I have five new gas masks, and oh my god, the package from Poland is fucking huge. Uh, I'll show you the package, and after that I think I'll finish the live stream. I want to, I don't know, start cleaning the masks, start assembling the the PMK, which, as I said, looks amazing. Pro tip: stay hydrated.
uh, I, I, I'll show you the the huge package from Poland. I, I couldn't resist and I've opened it. So, I mean, I opened it just a little bit and I've seen a very little part of it. Wait a second. Let me detach the phone from here. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so you've seen this package, how big it was. That was the, the box with the Soviet and Russian gas mask and uh, the one from the Republic of Moldova was like a handbag. But look at this. I mean, it's it's, it's fucking humongous. I mean, wait, wait a second. Just look at this. Look at this. I and I what the fuck man so yeah Polish people are the best and Russian people as well everybody's cool so yeah thank you guys for watching I'm really sorry I messed up the unboxing but I hope you liked this format it was kind of easier for me as well and yeah stay tuned subscribe if you like guys and thank you bye How the fuck do I close this? <laughs>